Hi then, in this video, which um, comes on the, on the back of the last one, I'm just going to show another um, distance and direction measurements uh, function, which is to create concentric rings around a, a, a given location. Um, so I've just got a map open here and click on the insert tab. There's the map one, there's the insert one and it's distance and direction. So I click on that and uh, on rings, click on rings, and then I've got a few options here to do. Well, what, what are they? I mean, the, a few things to think about here. Interactive is really where you're kind of drawing them on the screen, and fixed is where you're saying, right, they're 10, um, I want a, a ring 10 miles apart, 10 kilometers apart from each one. So it just, it's a fixed uh, parameter. It's 10, 10 kilometers, then a circle, 10 kilometers, then a circle or ring and then 10 kilometers is another one. Uh, origin is where, okay, I'm starting at a given point, a given origin, and then I'm going to say, let's have seven or three rings and, and they all could be different. I'm going to enter different values. Cumulative is where you're saying, okay, I've, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm adding on, I'm effectively adding on the distance between three. So you might say that, you know, I've got one at a hundred, you know, two, um, is actually set to 200 that's the values that i'm going to put in this um, distance table but it'll cumulatively put them together so it'll add them together so the second ring will be 300 um so uh, effectively so you're 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 adding them together you're it's a cumulative calculation so but have a play anyway so i just want simple origin and i want to enter a number of values so I'm going to select origin, so from a given location, and then I'm going to put my distances in. Let's have the first one here, let's say that's five miles. Note I've set my distance unit there. Uh, let's have 10 miles, and then let's have uh, 20 miles. Okay, so I've got that. Um, and then radials, well, if you want to draw radials, um, effectively breaking up the circle um, by, by, by lines. Um, so if, the, if there's two, it'll just 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 sort of bisect the circles, and if they're four, you'll get effectively quadrants. Um, I'll, I'll do some to show you. Let's make four, um, uh, and then we just need center point. So make sure map tool is selected. So it's set on origin, uh, miles five, ten, and twenty, uh, four radials. Let's go for it. So I click on a point. Uh, that, that's the point. See it populated up there but I could have typed it in now create rings and there you go uh, notice the labeling five miles 10 miles and 20 miles see the I selected radials I put in four so I got one two three four um, and um, it has drawn these nice circles and you can see that it's stored in the um, geodatabase so it's uh, effectively normal, um, simple uh, geometry, simple graphics, and it divides it into the sort of components. And, and actually it's just range rings. If we turn those on and off, you can see how it does it. And in course in label properties, you can change how that labeling works and, and do what you like. Bit of a script just to pick up what unit you used, um, but, um, but it's all there so you can easily uh, change the, the label as, as required uh, so so that that's that that's how to create concentric rings very very straightforward I can then press delete and off it goes uh, I could then um, make sure okay that's on zero number of radials let's click on map point again click on and then create rings and we won't get the radials as you see we just get the circles so that's all cool just to finish this I thought well what if, what if you want to show this in Google Maps? You want to actually you know, export it out to Google Maps. How, do, how actually do you, do you get it into Google Maps? Well, um, any data with, um, that you want to get onto Google Maps, you, 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 you have to sign into Google. So once, once we do an export, and we'll export it as a KMZ, and we'll just call it, I've actually got a file already let's call it rings demo just overwrite the existing one so so that's a kmz file so here i have 
in the browser. See how logged in is my logo up there. So I'm, I'm, I'm logged in to, I'm signed in to, to Google, uh, normal Google Maps. Now when I click, click on here on the menu, I go to your places. Now when you go to your places, you'll see maps over here, click on maps. And then it says, uh, see all of your maps. Sorry, you can see every, everything you've, you've created before, but down here you want create map. So here we are in, in the sort of create map uh, tool effectively. And here you'll see import and on the untitled layer. So import, uh, and you can drag the KMZ file across. So let me just, um, so I drag the KMZ file across that we just created. Let me just find it, here we go. So I've just dragged it across and there you go in Google Maps. So I can use the usual tools, but I've visualized inside Google Maps and it knows that that's five, that's 10 and that's 20. So it's got that uh, data behind it. So there you go, concentric rings in ArcGIS Pro, how to do it. And then how to view that data in Google Maps. I hope you find that useful. Thank you.